This is Jeff at Slayman's Racing, and this video is about brake pads. These are uh, key, these pads fit KTM's and Husabergs, but uh, this information basically applies to all motorcycle brake pads. Um, here at Slavens Racing, we sell two different uh, styles of pads, two different compositions. The one on the right here is uh, a centered metal pad, and the one on the left is called an organic pad. Um, the center pads are, are made of all metal. So the way they do that is the puck part of the pad, which this is the puck. Um, this is the backing plate. So the puck part of the pad is made out of centered copper. Some companies use centered brass or um, I'm sure they all use uh, a combination of products in there. I doubt that they're all just centered copper. There's probably a blend of alloys in there with them. But centered uh, metals are basically powdered metals, so ground up into a powder form. And then through a process of high pressure and high heat, they form the puck part. So they form this part. Uh, that's all pressurized and all metal particles are heated and, and squeezed together very very tightly with high pressures. Then in order to mount to the backing plate they also use high pressure and high heat and they basically uh, uh, melt the puck onto the backing plate. So there is no perfect pad. I mean they all they have their strengths and weaknesses just like all products. The center pads are, are what the KTMs and Hoosbergs come with stock from the factory, and most motorcycles these days do come with centered pads. So the strengths of a center pad are, are um, it lasts, they last a long time, they have extremely strong braking power, um, they're very good in muddy conditions because they'll hold up well during like a mud race, like a GNCC race where it's a lot of mud. They'll, they'll make it through the race. The downside of a centered pad is that they run a lot hotter. They create a lot more friction on the disc rotor. And uh, so they wear the rotor out uh, faster than an or organic pad does. They also tend to get overheated at times and get grabby. And by grabby I mean you know that you lose uh, the subtle subtleties of stopping sometimes like when you're trying to do uh, in a technical section uh, you're going down a long downhill and then you have to make a turn at the bottom well, they'll tend to be grabby there and tend to want to try to grab the disc and lock the brake up. So that's what they do when they get overheated. You know, in Colorado we're either going uphill or downhill and some of our downhills are, are many miles long. And so the pads can definitely get overheated and get really grabby. Um, organic pads, this brand, let's see, first I should back up here. The, the center pads I'm showing you here are made by Renthal. And they also put a ceramic coating on the back of them here. This gray material is a ceramic, and that's to help insulate uh, against the heat. So you don't get the heat transfer into the fluid, into the hydraulic system. The pad on the right, on the left here, are called uh, Carbon X Graphite pads. So they're a carbon and graphite and centered metal combination. And we call them EBC reds uh, because of their red backing plate. And all the EBCs that are red are the Carbon X. So these have an organic material, a carbon graphite material, and then sprinkled throughout the material is, uh, is some centered copper as well to uh, add to the life of the pad. So the big plus on these pads, is, especially like on the front ones, is they don't get overheated and grabby, or typically they don't. Um, it would take a lot more abuse before they would than the centered. So for Colorado conditions or any conditions where you're 
feel like your front brake is getting too touchy, this pad will really help that problem. And it basically cures that problem. But the downside of an organic pad is that they don't last nearly as long as the centered pads do. Um, another upside is that they don't do near the wear on the disc rotor. So your rotors will last a lot, a lot longer. And rotors can get, uh, you know, it doesn't take that long. And rotors get damaged to where they're really cupped. And then when you put new pads on them, the pads are, are not touching the rotors uh, very well. I mean, they're just touching the two outer, uh, outer edges of the pad. So if you've got problems with touchy brakes, the EBC Red is the way to go. If you're going for longevity or riding a lot of mud races, well then you'd want to go with a centered pad. Both of them are great products. They just both have uh, their own applications. I think that's about all for now. Ciao.